Dinner for Shoes, please. Hi, welcome to Dinner for Shoes. Definitely a different setup today. Um, I don't even feel like I have to introduce Rachel separately. So the intro is coming with Rachel. Rachel's going to help me introduce herself. This is my sister. This is me. Um, we are at her apartment. We're here for Christmas. So I was like, let's record an episode. And my producer, the Dinner for Shoes producer, Megan, is actually her fiance. So we're using some high tech like lighting. And hopefully we look even better than I normally look at home in my shitty attic apartment. Um, Rachel and Megan have three cats. So we're really hoping that they come into this episode and Draco's hiding behind the tree right now staring at us. We see Draco. <laughs> He's like scared because normally there is no podcast set up here, but Draco, come on in. Um, <laughs> he's like creeping out from behind the, the ottoman. Um, but so this episode is called Obstinate Daughter and Opposite Sisters because Rachel and I are very, very close sisters, but we also are opposite when it comes to style, which is kind of like obviously what this, this episode is about, but we're not opposite when it comes to our taste in food. And our favorite restaurant in the world, we agreed yesterday, like this is your favorite too, right? 100%, in the world. Yeah. Is, well, actually, more than any uh, restaurant in Disney. It's my favorite restaurant in Charleston. Oh, well, that changes like so much. What's your favorite restaurant in Disney? That's a whole different ball game because now you're talking character, atmosphere, food. I know. You've got buffets. So. Is it Crystal? I don't know. I really don't know. That's very hard. Oh, Tusker. Tusker is my favorite restaurant in Disney for sure. I think that would be up there for me. Yeah. But I love breakfast. So like Crystal for breakfast. Oh, yeah. For or- breakfast. Yeah. Um. So, but anyway, this is definitely Obstinate Daughter is our favorite restaurant in Charleston. And we went last night and we took out our very favorite dish. And that's what's going to be on this plate when we replace Rachel's shoe. Rachel is going to talk about her outfit that she's wearing. So I guess we should preface this by saying the way our style is different is just like, I don't know, on paper, what would you say? Yours is just more like sporty, tomboyish than mine. Yours is like lately and since you decided you were moving to Charleston, I feel like even more like boho too. It's like like boho meets... Surfer, dumpster. (laughs) Rachel's style is like, kind of like dumpster (laughs) me. She just said that before I cut last at that time. (laughs) No, it's like boho meets dumpster truck. Yeah, but kind of surf. Because like you will wear like your shell necklace. I do. I dress like I'm a surfer. Yeah. But I'm not. Yeah. So, but yeah. But so this sneaker, you feel, I guess. You you talk about the sneaker. You like that sneaker. Well, I love white shoes. I've always loved white shoes. White shoes that you can instantly get dirty and make right. gray. It doesn't work for me because I don't keep them clean for more than a day. But I love a good white shoe. There are ways you can clean white sneakers. Like there's like posts on it. We I can- think white shoes look fancy. Yeah. Like they make you look... Like you have your life together. Yeah. And we don't. And it like will take my dumpster truck outfit and make it look nicer. Yeah. Yeah. So this is like, this is a very much Rachel vibe outfit. So that's why she's wearing it. You can tell me, do you even know? I I can, where's this from? Not not a clue. Oh, this is from PacSun, which I think is, yeah. Like this is very I do like PacSun, so that makes sense. And she's wearing it with like cream colored shorts. um, And these Nikes, which just like is so cool. And I kind of like also based my outfit on the common, like I wanted to show, I'm wearing a black sequin skirt from Zara and I wanted to show how like, that is very me. Like I'm always like, oh, does she really need to be wearing that to this restaurant? Because this is like a food truck and she's wearing a sequin skirt. Like that's like the kind, that's my vibe where it's like eccentric on purpose. Like just like, because I like it mixed with, especially when I'm in Charleston, I feel like I dress sportier because like I'm with Rachel. I wear her clothes because I don't want to pack anything. This time I got this huge backpack, sent my Christmas gifts, which aren't getting here on time. Whole nother episode. Probably could do a whole episode (laughs) of that. And I like just wanted to bring like the bare minimum. So I packed this sequin skirt a little bit to speak to my aesthetic and then plain white tank top that's sporty. This is by Kai, Kylie Jenner's new brand. And then I wore my Vans because... I feel like I always 
think of Charleston as like the Vans place because Rachel and Megan have a whole collection of Vans. Like you probably have more Vans than like anyone I know. Megan turned me into a Vans Yeah. Lover. Yeah. And I feel like I've gotten you guys some from throughout the years or just like, I don't know. Like half, I always, half of my Vans are from you. Yeah. And I wear them when I come here. So I was like, I'm going to wear my own black Vans here and like, mix all that together. But I think these outfits do reflect like, like I can be sporty sometimes. I'm more just like all over the place with my style, but I think these reflect our outfit. Like I'm very much in one place and it's find an outfit I like, rotate it with two other outfits I like, and then wear them until they start ripping and stress out because I need to find a new outfit. Yeah, that's like our style, but obviously growing up, it wasn't always like that. Like when we were younger and like we couldn't say what we wanted to wear, I feel like we didn't really know. and mommy would dress us in some things like we'd be matching sometimes i don't know if we wanted to do that or not but we're gonna like revisit some of our like i think maybe we'll start with that because we were young and it's like the start of the episode so like maybe we started at the young part of the episode so i collected well with the help of my mom who brought um pictures of us growing up i collected some old like what do you mean they're not called polaroids like when people would just take pictures on disposable cameras i guess or like i don't know what they were i don't know i don't know mm. they're just pictures mm -hmm. and we're gonna look through them and we're gonna talk about like what we were wearing and you guys are gonna laugh but just to say we also made christmas margaritas did you put the coconut milk in there because i don't really taste that i did yeah i can taste it a little but so they're made with coconut milk I don't like this thing. Well, I just did it to be festive. It's like rose, a mo rosemary sprig. It's impaled my eyeball three times. Oh, well then just take it out. Put it in the shoe. I guess since we talked about the shoe, you can put your shoe back on if you would like. Um, yeah. Yeah, leave this. We'll, we'll set this up for when the Brussels sprouts come. This is so good. I'm very Christmas festive. I really like it. The more sugar I'm getting, the more I like it. All right, so surprise, surprise, here are some pictures. Now, I selected these pictures without Rachel knowing. Um, so you and I are just gonna like talk about each of them. Okay. First thing that comes to mind when I see this is like, oh my God, I don't even know. Like, I look like an actual look, cicada bug. You do, and I look like I'm pushing you, like I'm like a mom in like Livingston, the town that we came from that we grew up in, like I'm like a Livingston mom. Yeah. Like pushing you to school. You've entered your Livingston era. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then like this picture just really spoke to me because like I went to dancing school and I went for like, like a long time. I think I danced for like six or seven years, but I liked jazz the most. And this is like me in like the ultimate jazz costume and look at your face. I'm like, I didn't choose the outfit I'm wearing. I don't know what she's me. wearing. I don't want to go wherever we're going. I'm not about any of this. Yeah. And like, why is my shirt pink and ruffly? Why do you think I wore those shoes? Oh, because I didn't want to wear my jazz shoes yet, probably. I don't know why you did any of this. I did like did. this. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get to that. But so <laughs> this, okay, this is giving like limited to, I think I thought I was a Spice Girl this summer. This was in Hill and Head. And I think I really thought I was a Spice Girl. I think you like... You, again, like, you're, like, wearing, like, a very girly outfit. This was your headband time. Yeah. When the headband would always fall down and she would get so annoyed. Like, do you, like, you when your I headband I would put them on and off all day long. She'd be like, ugh! <laughs> <laughs> or when my ponytail had bumps in it. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. I had this to have it done, like, ten times. Yeah. Before I would go to school because I'd find a bum. Although I will say from for a sister like connection here, I love that my belt matches with your sandals. Like I feel like we did that on purpose. I feel like maybe you were like. I did it on purpose. Wear these shoes. It matches my belt. Yeah. And I was just like, whatever you want, Saya. Yeah. Which is literally <laughs> the way. Yeah. And I called you Yachel, I think. But that was just kind of like making fun of you calling me Saya. This looks like Parent Trap. Like we're outside the Parent Trap building. And I was going to say this looks like Virgin Suicides, which is a totally different movie. But it's just like two young like children. And it looks like something bad's going to happen in that house. We? I don't know. But this is like the start of a horror movie. What does that say? Opaleos? Yeah, that's probably, that was in the Poconos. Remember I made you play, I made you play with Barbies when we were in the Poconos. I made you play that kitchen game. Remember, it was like imaginary tables. I was always down to play with Barbies if I could chew on their shoes. <laughs> I think these 
So these were the ultimate, I put these together because these were the ultimate like fireplace pictures. When we moved to our house in Livingston, there was this big wall. I liked it. It was like a rock wall and the fireplace was built into it. And mommy and daddy would always make us take pictures. And like this, like, who are we? Like clarinet. What is that, a trumpet? Yeah, I don't know. I played the clarinet, so I don't know where that trumpet came oh, from. Oh, that's the old trumpet that, like, we just had. And I Daddy remember was sometimes, like, carrying it around and blowing into it like I knew what I was doing. Yeah, I remember that, too. And I think I was, like, very serious about the clarinet and, like, thought I was going to be a clarinet player. Why did we wear these shirts? I never want to see know. them again. Yeah, no. This, I feel like we very much coordinated, like, this reminds me of like us doing the Saturday 60. Like we wake up now and we do Just Sims Peloton Saturday 60 together when we're together. And like, this is like us being like, get the treads, get the weights. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. Your underwear. My pink undies. You were like trying to show your underwear like they were boxers. Yeah, I do let my, my boxer show sometimes, but. <laughs> You'll never see a pink band coming out of my pants. We'll now. link Waxers. I'm very interested in the Waxers brand that you've been wearing. They're literally like boxers for women. We're going to link them. They're very soft looking. Okay, I loved this picture of you and Daddy because you're wearing a very feminine, like girly outfit, but you're looking at yourself in the mirror like, I, I don't think so. <laughs> like, I don't think this is right. <laughs> I'm like, I look good, but this ain't what I want to look like. <laughs> yeah. And daddy's like, look at your new dress, Rach. And you're like, I don't know. <laughs> or you would wear a dress and just pick a wedgie. Yeah. Which I love. Which it. dresses are great for. Yeah. Yeah. This is I, your pigtails. Oh my God. So Rachel thought, this is a very important thing too. <laughs> Rachel literally thought that pigtails was... Pigtails. Pigtails. Until she was like. Until recently. Yeah. Very like really recently. recently. <laughs> so this was probably on this day. You probably woke up. You were like, mom, can I have pigtails? I've got like the squinty eye too. Like I'm getting at it. Can I have pigtails so I can pick my wedgie? <laughs> okay. What did you, this is a question for you. What did you honestly think when I would make daddy give me that like silver, like hardware and put like my gig, my five gigapets all on one thing and then like put them on the belt of my jeans. Like I don't this. even remember, like I don't remember ever seeing you wear it. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's also like a Barbie sticking off of that thing. I mean, I, I don't know. I, this is no comment. Yeah. This <laughs> and an alien. There's literally an alien charm, you which liked, is funny because my boyfriend your guys. makes guys. You liked your guys. My guys, yeah. And, and like, you wanted to bring them with you. Yeah. You this was another, this is a great example of, well, two things. I picked this picture because your headband is falling off. So just to show everyone what it looked like when your headband would start to be falling off before you would like push it back. I don't know. Maybe you had a small head or you were buying like adult size headbands. I don't know. I don't know why either. they would always fall off. Either or. Like, why would they fall? But what I was going to say is that I would love a dress now that says girls sports like this. Like, I would wear that dress now. Girls sports. sports. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then finally, the best picture of the bunch. I'll let Rachel talk about what this was. This was my birthday party. And what was it? Supposedly, mommy said that everyone had to come. And in these are suits. these are the happiest pictures we have of you, because there are a bunch of girls in bathing suits. <laughs> your your headband is even staying up, as Mother Gothel says. Mother knows best. <laughs> <gasps> um. So that is like us growing up, and how I think there are some pictures in here where like we did dress the same, and some were like we dressed differently. I'm going to ask you some questions that like you don't know are coming, but I'm trying to decide if we should get the Brussels because the w the longer we wait, it took us like five hours to set up this situation and we have dinner in about 30 minutes. <laughs> the longer we wait, the less hungry we're going to be at dinner. It's a new restaurant in Charleston that I want to try. So like maybe we heat up the Brussels and then I rapid fire question you. We'll refresh our drinks. I'll rapid fire a question you while we're snacking on the Brussels. And I'll answer your questions with Brussels sprouts in my teeth. Fab. We'll be right back. We're back and we have our Brussels. Now, 
What's so special about this dish, which like, just look at it. I mean, it's beautiful. I think that color wise, it really like, it's very like natural ethereal looking. Like it's like, I don't know. Like, I think it's a beautiful dish. So obstinate daughter is, how would you describe the, like they have pizza there, it's which Italian. we love. It's Italian. I think Italian. It's, it's, I can see what it's listed as. Yeah, let's see. Cause I also want to read what's in this dish. This is our favorite dish in the world, which is very weird because you wouldn't think that like a side or a starter would be your favorite dish. But seriously, if they took this off the menu, I would I would call. When Trader Joe's took the mixed nut butter, I emailed and I filled out the form that's like, please bring this product back. But if they took this off the menu at Obstinate Daughter, I would call or venture over there. They, they would never take it off. They could never. But what would happen? Would you come with me if they took it off? No. Do you think mommy and daddy like it as much as us? <laughs> do you think mommy and daddy, like when we're, they're eating it, when we're eating it and we love it, they're just like, why do we always have to get this dish? Like it sucks. I think mommy <laughs> definitely likes it. I don't yeah. know if daddy cares. I feel like daddy's just like, so there's that shit. <laughs> they always get Brussels like, sprouts those make you fart yeah like, I, I don't know like there's something about it so what is special is that they told us last night and I think we knew this but they do use truffle in truffle. it which makes it taste so good it and just says eclectic eclectic restaurant it is eclectic because it's like they do have these like pizzas which are delicious and we love them they have like the old danger pizza which comes with like a fried egg on top last night we got that one with app like shaved apples on top and feta and feta what was that called what's what about how about them apples how about them apples and it was so good and then the pasta is always really good we got like a one with vodka sauce last night and then that burrata salad that mommy wanted the drinks are good too I my favorite thing about last night at dinner was when daddy they they put down the Brussels and the burrata and daddy was just like now what's that white <laughs> <laughs> what's the white thing what's that white thing and I was like burrata and he still didn't know probably what that meant he's like what <laughs> he's like so did we eat it it's cheese <laughs> But this special thing, he always thinks we're making fun of him, but we are laughing with him. Like we love, if he didn't say that, dinner would not have been amazing. Like he makes things very fun and funny and like always just like says what he's feeling, which is just the best. And we had a great dinner last night. So the one thing that is special about the Faro Brussels sprout dish too is can't you get this at lunch, but like with chicken on it and it's like a salad? Yeah. But I will read it just so that everybody But I also knows. like, like, it's not normal onions. It's like that fancy onion. Oh, scallions. So it's called farro piccolo. And it has Brussels sprouts, peanut, balsamic, and black truffle. And yeah, there are scallions in it. It's where they don't No, that. but not even that, these. Oh, they are, yeah, they have like grilled onions in there too, But it's I not guess. onion. So what is it? Shallots? It's a shallot. Okay, I got you. Yeah, they didn't put that. So we're just going to cheers over this. This is the first time we're having it heated up, though. I don't know if it'll be as good. It's still so good. So What's good. your favorite part? Like, what? Like, there is no part of this. If they took any of it, I swear, if they took the green onion out of it, it wouldn't be as good. Yeah, it's all. Like, there's Like, nothing. I love Brussels sprouts, but, like, that's not even the highlight. Mm -hmm. For me, it's, like, the peanut with the scallion and the whatever you just said the onion's called. Shallot. Shallot. Totally agree. And the truffle. Like, because we've not, tried to make it and it never tastes the same. I like, I, I hate to say it since it's a Brussels sprout dish, but it's almost like they could take the Brussels sprout out and put, sorry, Megan. Megan likes to keep it clean around here. She could leave it in. <laughs> but it's almost like if this was replaced with broccoli instead of Brussels, it'd still be good. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, that's so freaking good. Do we have to go to dinner? Like, I would eat this for dinner. This is so good. I love it. Are you ready for rapid fire questions? I got farrow in my vagina. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cut that. <laughs> mm -hmm. <coughs> okay. All right. So I prepared these questions for you. Okay. These are, I have a note in my phone. It says surprise questions to ask Rach. I took a screenshot. Okay. So. First question. First rapid fire question. When was the first time you remember looking at me and thinking, 
oh, I do not like what she is wearing. Pilgr- pilgrim face. I remember. But what outfit I was don't it? know. I don't know what age you were, but you were wearing a dress and it had like a collar. And I was just like, Saya, you look like a pilgrim. <laughs> and that's all I remember. <laughs> I hope we have a picture of that because I used to wear like black and white striped tights too. I wore like a corduroy like overall dress to school people would make fun of me but I was like expressing myself well I remember sometimes like needing something nicer to wear and you were like you could look through my closet and you were like no 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 like I'd rather go naked yeah (laughs) (laughs) because at that time well I guess that's important too you have a sense of style now I feel like where you've kind of like grown into your own style I know how to match when I want to yeah but I think at that point as far as my style goes but like when I was in middle school and you were still on that stage don't you feel like you were just doing the thing where like you would wear like shorts in the winter. Like I just always know you and daddy's been like shorts in the winter, shorts every every day. And you would just wear like sport shorts and t-shirts. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. Why complicate things? Right. Yeah. Why? Why do that? Why express yourself <clears throat> a shirt that actually says something like you know what it means? Well, I did express myself. That's true. Girls, sports. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Wait, I'm now realizing that that dress foreshadowed your life. That was preschool. Girls, sports. Mm-hmm. Those were the only two things you began. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it just, on the back, it was probably like, and Charleston too. Girls, sports, and then me running around <laughs> with girls in bikinis like. <laughs> okay. So if I asked you what's the worst outfit I ever wore, you wouldn't even remember. The pilgrim dress. Oh, okay. Okay. What did you think of my senior year prom dress? Honestly, it could be worse. Really? I think this reminds me of, you know, when we go... I mean, you're wearing, like... It reminds me of, like, the Broadway show Wicked and Curtain Shades. Whose was, like, more normal? Mine or Sasha's? Honestly, neither one of you did that. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry, Sasha. (laughs) No, but, like, we both did copy each other with, like, wearing sequins and beads. But But I loved Sasha's wedding dress. So you both have, like, really, from coming from someone who doesn't know fashion, your fashion has improved. She literally just was like, but I loved Sasha's wedding dress. And I saw her pause when you said, like, so you both. Because she was like, well, Sasha's wedding dress was Sasha. So, like, your your style hasn't improved (laughs) with Sasha's ass. But I'm, like, literally wearing, I'm, like, matching my prom dress right now. (laughs) But does this not remind you of, remember when we used to go to the, um. Car wash? Yes! (laughs) How did you know I was going to say that? It reminded me of those flappy things. Yes! Like, we'd go through, like, the flappy things. Like, was I, like, oh, I want to wear a car wash to prom. I'm more, honestly, like, disappointed in the designer. Yeah, I don't even know who it was. I can't even tell you. I know I got it shortened, but, like, it was still too long. And I just know, like, what was that? I don't know. That was a very ugly dress. Okay. What did you think when I made you, we were, we were visiting the cenotes in Mexico and we were having a whole day there and I brought this swimsuit just so you could take this picture of me. And then I changed into this swimsuit so that I could tan. What was your honest, like, feeling about the fact that I had to bring two swimsuits? So that's a cool look. I'll admit it. I would never wear it, but it's a cool look looking at it. I like the way the bag matches the belt and mm-hmm. I like the bag and you you rocked it. But to me, it's just like that's so much effort for a picture in a swimsuit. Like, But it's a great pick. It is a great pick and it's a great outfit, but you wanted to tan and wear the other one. I Just because I'm not I'm not a fashion person, so I would never go through that amount of work. Yeah. But like... To each, you. to each their own, you do you. Well, I will say both of these swimsuits are by Solid and Stripe. So credit to Solid and Stripe for making such cool swimsuits. I do love their swimsuits. They're a great brand. Like, I respect that one, mostly because it probably didn't interfere with my tanning time. It may have, because I think at this point we were still like on the rock. So you couldn't like lay down yet. I do vividly remember us realizing we had some more time to get to the bus before and you stopped and took off your clothes and you were tanning like on the sidewalk. And I was just like, like I was probably just as embarrassed for you tanning on the sidewalk as you were embarrassed for me changing out of my swimsuit. Cause like- Touche. Yeah. In like, Disney I do the same thing. If someone has to go to the bathroom, I'm like, yes, tanning time. Like, yes. Like, mm-hmm. but at this point I will say I was still into, t- like I think I wanted to compete with you still with tanning. So I was like, oh, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna tan. So I'm gonna bring this other swimsuit. <laughs> Okay, what did you think of my 
graduation dress, which by the way, was Sasha's. Also, this is funny. Sorry, senior year, Sasha and I only had one friend and it was each other. So that's why everything has to <laughs> But this was my senior year graduation dress and Sasha, this was Sasha's. I mean, my face tells you what I said, <laughs> what I think of it. <laughs> and my shirt is also just foreshadowing my whole life. <laughs> This shirt, I didn't even realize that. This shirt says, my boyfriend told me I had to choose between him and softball. I can't read what the fine print says, but I think we all know how that went. It says, it said, I remember this shirt and I wore it whenever it came out of the dryer. I was like, it's clean. <laughs> it said, I don't have a time for a boyfriend anyway. <laughs> also, I like girls. <laughs> you should like write that on. Well, what happened? into that shirt that's a great shirt i probably wore it until it like just completely ripped and decayed you also had braces here i feel like this was your stage where you always did that dance yeah that was an awkward stage yeah i mean they're all awkward stages it's just different awkwardness levels. yeah this was the, your stage where you would make a lot of videos like on photo booth in your room i remember a picture of me with like 50 pencils in my mouth yes yes we'll try to find that but what do i think about your outfit yeah oh yeah so like what did you think about this i guess this wasn't horrible it's pretty bad. It looks like a bedspread in an mm. Airbnb you go to where you're just like, I'm not getting under that. Yes. And like a cupcake, <laughs> like a cupcake foil kind of too on the bottom. <laughs> okay. This is the last question, but it's, I want you to really on it, answer honestly. Did you ever, in like recent history even maybe, tell me that like I looked good, even though inside you were like, what is she wearing? Like, I was like, do you like this? And you were like, yeah, it looks good. I'm sure I have. I can't remember a specific <laughs> time, but like, I'm sure I have. And there are times where I think you look good. So yeah, like, no, but I think this is good. Right, but you're being honest right now. Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. All right, should I wear this to dinner? You can. Would you be uncomfortable when we walked into like a really casual place and I was wearing this sequin skirt? Not really, because I don't think it's that casual. Oh. I mean, I don't know. Should I look nicer? I think this is fine. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. So wait. There have definitely sure. been times where I told you it looks good when secretly I didn't think it looks good. Or I've been like, what? Yeah. How do you think you use clothing to express yourself today and like your current like life status, I guess? Like what's going on in your life? Do you think you do that at all? I, mean, I think one thing. Ninety percent of the time, I get dressed. It's just I want to be comfortable. Mm -hmm. I don't care if this looks good, and I don't care if you think this looks good. I just want to be comfortable. So, like, does Megan ever say to you, like, Rach, can you dress a little nicer? <laughs> Not in that way, but for example, when we were just in St. Augustine, we were going out to dinner, mm -hmm. and I was wearing sweatpants with a big Christmas sweater and fuzzy Christmas socks. And it's like a nice restaurant on the water. And I said, do you think I'll look nicer if I wear these sweatpants instead? And she just laughed and she said, I'm not sure why you think it matters. <laughs> <laughs> Were they actually like nicer sweatpants? One pair was like Luna. Neither, Luna. neither one was get nice. Get Luna, get Luna, get Luna, get Luna. We see a cat. I think Sorry. She's going under the couch. There's no way she wants any part of this. Her out of all the cats don't want any part of this. I want the cats to get in. Uh, what do you think about Megan's sense of style? I think she has a good sense of style. I think there are times where Megan just wants to be comfortable and doesn't, also like me, doesn't care. Mm. So she has those moments, but like I still think she looks good. Yeah. But there's yeah. also times where like she wants to get dressed up and not even dressed up when I compare it to you, but like she wants to look good. We're going out to dinner. Yeah, and like, she gets, she dressed. puts together a really cute outfit. Yeah, I agree. Uh -huh. I think she does. Too. I can't like her style is even more eccentric than mine. I feel like she really, she loves color. She always wears color. Like she's very good at it. But she likes color. black too. She Yeah. It's like color or black. Yeah. But she's got a bunch of cool, cool earrings. She has really cool hair. And, and her she hair does it is in different cool. ways. And yeah. She'll wear like belts and I don't know. She has cool, nice shoes and, I don't know. I like Megan's style. I, I agree. I think she's really good at like putting herself together. 
So there are sometimes when she puts herself together, I'm like, okay, I'll look a little bit nicer today. Yeah. Oh, so you will pick up on that cue. Well, I'll put on my white shoes instead of my other shoes. But the white shoes are gray because like they've been dirty. Right. But they're white. So it makes an outfit look a little nicer. Yeah. Okay. So white shoes are for- <laughs> I take my hair out of my ponytail. <coughs> yeah. You do. You do. <clears throat> okay. So you do kind of like my outfit today. You're saying- Especially with the vans, yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that's good. It's I was giving off like that. New Year's Eve vibes, but I know New Year's Eve, you would go way more dramatic. Yes. Do you think if we were sisters with like, do you, th- this is actually a really good question, both in style and in like personality. Do you think if we were sisters with like very similar style and personality, we would not be as close? Do you think there's like some sort of like, like, I feel like it makes us even closer that, like, we are so different in every single way besides our taste buds. Even our taste buds are different sometimes. Like, you like that raw ahi tuna. Yeah. I don't even like to look at it. But. That's, like, the only but, thing you can think of right now off the top of your head. Like, you like tuna. I like real tuna. Yeah, I like tuna. Actually, that tuna is more real than the tuna you like. I like Just saying. Tuna. Um, <clears throat> honestly, I don't know. But I know that I have always said that, like, if I ever, when we, when I was a freshman and you were a senior, like, if I ever walked by you in high school, like, I would never associate myself with you, be friends with you, like, nothing, but, like, I, you're my sister, so I love you. Wait, what? <laughs> like, let's say, like, you knew my personality, like, we but weren't you were sisters, like a cool, we were popular friends. kid who dressed cool, or at times, like, a we pilgrim. We were only like, in I, school for one year together. I just feel like we were always very different and like if we weren't sisters the world would have never brought us together but because we are we know our similarities that's true it's a good thing we have the same but we never would have learned our similarities did you ever see me in the hallway and hide from me (laughs) no are you sure about that i don't think so no what if like you i remember like like, crying after freshman year that like you weren't going to be in school with me anymore oh okay so you did enjoy seeing me in the hallways yeah even if i was wearing a weird outfit yeah that made you uncomfortable because you were my sister if you weren't my sister i'd be scared of you okay (laughs) why i was not scary i was like a weird I think I'm you were weird. a cool, popular kid. I mean, for a couple of years. I ate lunch in my car or the bathroom stall. Oh, I ate, l- I ate lunch like alone sometimes. I wasn't really that cool and popular. I was weird. And I think basically each of my years of college, the popular kids realized more and more how weird I was until the final year where they were just like, okay, we were right. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get here? I had no friends besides Sasha. And Sasha was just like, she's weird, but like, she's going to go to the city with me and we're going to go to school together. And like, we'll match, I'll match prom dresses with her, but this is the last time. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, I agree. Do you think this is, this is my actual last question. I know I keep saying it's last question, but how have you ever used clothing to express yourself? Can you think of an example? And we're just going to go to dinner. (laughs) Draco. I think I've always expressed myself, at least when I was younger, through clothes by just straight up by what I wore, like signaled, like, I don't care what you think about me or what you think about what I'm wearing. Like, I don't want. To have anything to do with you anyway. Right. <laughs> Specifically no, just yeah. like kids growing up in Livingston. Like I think you did. Because you just stuck to comfort. I like sports and you'll be really nervous when I have to pitch against you. I love yeah. when kids would like cry in the dugout because they were scared to go up against me at bat. Yeah. At bat. To bat. Yeah. But like in school they would make fun of me. How do you um, know people were making fun of you because of your clothes though? I don't think that. Because like- there was that thing. Not specific. Well. Not specifically because of my clothes, but, mm. like, I was called a dyke. Like, that's obviously because of my clothes. Yeah. Like, I shopped in the boys' section. Yeah, I mean, that's... But their clothes are comfy. I like shopping. That Their clothes are comfy. Everything's more comfortable. And, like, just... It actually fits, in my opinion, at least my body type, like, better. Like, the way men's clothes are cut. 
Yeah, like girls' clothes are like, we're gonna cut in real tight here and go yeah. out loose here. And like, I prefer why? like a tight, like wider cut. And then, like, you kind of, I think that's like sexier. Like, you show your body like through that kind of in a way. But I don't know. I just feel, I feel like I wish that we could have picked our outfits some of the times that like mommy picked our outfits growing up. I mean, and, I like, think a lot of the time when we're matching, it's probably you picked what you wanted to wear and I just wanted to look like you because I have always wanted to be like you. Until I realized, fashion-wise, I don't. As a person, yes. Fashion-wise, no. But there are definitely also times, mommy let me pick my own clothes because I remember school calling her and being like, it was picture day. Did you forget? And she was like, no, I let Rachel wear what she wanted to. Like, I want, and she always said, like, I want Wait, that actually her picture happens? to be her. Who did that? What principal did that? We'll have to ask her. I don't know. But I they just remember that story. They sent you to story. the principal's No. Office? I never said they sent me to the principal. <laughs> <laughs> they, I think they called her. Or they might have asked me, like, did you forget it was picture day? Oh. Well, maybe you were really annoyed and kept pushing your headbands up. And they were just like, she wants it still. <laughs> Well, okay, so that, yeah, I mean, that is so screwed up because, like, kids should be able to wear whatever the hell they want and express themselves, especially at a time when, like, their brains are developing and they're younger and, like, that's so important to note, I feel like. And, like, we weren't getting married. It's going to be in our yearbook photo from the third right. grade. Like, who's ever going to care? Yeah. Like, you're going to look back probably and be like, I'm glad I wore what I wanted to, looking back at that picture, which you're not because we probably cut Never up and look at that deleted picture. those yearbooks out of our lives. So... But I mean, ultimately, I think that you did a really good job expressing yourself growing up. And now it's funny because now I want to be like you. So it's it's switched because Rachel is my role model. And I always say that. But she's younger than me. And everyone's like, no, like it has to be someone older or someone who, like you've never met. And I'm like, no, like my role model is my sister. Like I want to be just like her, but not from a style perspective. But also from a style, like I do think that I take your cues. Like I don't think I'd be wearing like Vans if I didn't like admire your style. I admire your style. I know you can't say the same, <laughs> but it's fine. No, I'm laughing at the sense that they are saying you admire my stuff. Oh, I do. I like your style. Like, that's why when I come here, I like, I know I'll be fine. There are times where you, you said like, oh, that's a cool outfit. Yeah. Because I'm like, oh, I know I'll be fine. I know I'll be able to wear your clothes because I like what you wear. Like, I get to now make this my style for a week. M more than a week, I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Um... Do you think mommy and daddy style rubbed off on us at all? I mean, daddy's maybe on mine. Yeah. Or mommy too. She likes to be comfortable. She and she likes t-shirts. Shirts. Whenever we go out to like a nicer restaurant, we send Sarah in first. And I know like there are pictures of mommy where I'll look and they're like pictures of her younger and I'll be like, there's a Bellatrix. This is Belle. We've been waiting for Belle. Here she is. What'd you think? How you express your sense of style, that little bow tie? On that note, we're gonna go to dinner. I don't know what note. On that note, we're gonna go to dinner. We're hungry, we want more than the Brussels. No, we're gonna finish the Brussels sprouts. Mm -hmm. um, like, subscribe, tell your friends about Dinner for Shoes. Make sure they have active emails where they actually do subscribe instead of just closing the computer and like going back to sleep, like this one. Um, we love you. You'll we're gonna check on that after this. Yeah, we are. <laughs> You'll be back for another episode, mm -hmm. for sure. Um, thank you for tuning in, obstinate daughter and opposite sisters. Peace.